In this demonstration of Voice Dream Reader, I'm going to show you how to get a, Go a Gutenberg book, and it will also be the same for uh, open culture books. So I'm going to select my app, and once I'm here, I'm going to go up to the, this corner, select that, and I'm going to, this time I'm going to go to my web browser, which is here. Now in the web browser, I immediately go to Gutenberg because I was already there. Um, focusing on the bottom down here, um, we can select what we really want. If we wanted to go to open culture, we could, but normally we can switch back and forth. And so I had to show you that. I will go back to Project Gutenberg, and I'm going to... Uh, this time I'm going to look at random books. Hopefully I'll find something worth reading there. Once I do that, I can see, well, boarding school with the Tucker twins. Sounds like an exciting one to me, so I'll select it. And I get, um, let's see, we get some information. Published, 2000, uh, published uh, in 2011, um, but uh, I think it was written quite a bit earlier than that. Uh, when we download Gutenberg books, we want to download EPUB books. You have the option of images or no images. Today I'm going to pick uh, no images. It's coming along and downloading. And so there's my, my book. Now, why would I go for a book like that? This book is so old it probably wouldn't be on Bookshare. Um, why would I want to read it? Maybe I want to look at how authors might have written in in the last century, in the early part of the last century. And so launching it is still the same. It will open up and I probably, I don't know if I have a table of contents, let's check that out. Oh yes I do, I can go right to chapter one. Why ain't single court tea mad wife here or mommy is your honey chili? Looks like I didn't have the heart to plunge my baby lamb into show me of cold water. Okay, I, I had no idea what this book was about, but you can see that it still treats it the same. It highlights the line and the words, and so Gutenberg books can be quite useful to give students a, another view of, of, of authors and, and materials that pr produced a long time ago. And so don't forget about Gutenberg when you're looking for books.